Now what does an avid saltwater angler do in February to cure cabin fever? Well, I'll tell you what, he fishes for juvenile red drum, better known as puppy drum, inside of Rudy Inlet in Virginia Beach, Virginia. The Owl Creek public boat ramp is the only public access to Rudy Inlet. major tourist attraction in Virginia Beach is the Marine Science Museum and the Owl Creek boat ramp is precariously located adjacent to the ever-expanding museum. Now Seth Brody and Wayne Seymour are taking me out today to enjoy nature and to try to catch a few puppy drum while the weather is both too cold and too changeable to test those ocean waters. All day long today, you're gonna hear the sound of freedom because we're in the landing path for Navy jet fighters at nearby Oceana Naval Air Base. Now we actually have headed for a small, fairly shallow creek on the edge of the museum. Now once Seth locates a good anchorage site, we're gonna cut off the motor and start casting. Okay, I'll cut it off here. Now when the morning fishing started, it was clear skies, cool, and we had a falling tide. And Seth was hooked up before I had the anchor line tied off. The sun on that is absolutely beautiful. Pull him up a little bit so you can get a better picture of him this way. Sometimes. They're getting bigger as we catch them. What'd you catch him on, Seth? Caught him on this small grub, a little white grub. He's getting ready to spit out for me. Beautiful, beautiful. You gotta measure him before you do anything else. 21, 20 and a half inches. That is absolutely beautiful. Is that gonna be supper tonight? I think so. All I the think other I ones. would too. That's <laughs> supper tonight. With my first cast, I hooked a puppy drum while Seth netted it and Wayne tagged it. When, uh, when you tag these fish, you push the gun in, put the point right under a scale, and push it in. Then when you squeeze the trigger, you also got to keep pressure toward the fish because the when you, as the tag's going in, it's tending to push the gun out. You won't get a good tag set if you don't keep it pushed in. Absolutely beautiful. 
Wow, he's just beautiful. And he's gone. Wayne, that technique for using that T-bar tag is so important that I want you to tell us all about it again in just a few minutes. It's that beautiful. In a few years, he or she may grow up to 50 pounds. It's a little bit smaller than when we caught her on I'd say 16 and a half, 17 maybe. He sure is pretty though, and remember the seawater temperature is only about 42 degrees. The air temperature is a little bit better than that today, but man, are they ever pretty. Caught him on the same lure, right? Yep, and it's fun to catch these little fish. That is a beautiful fish. Nice puppy drum, you caught him on the same thing. He is awesome. Middle of February, we're the only boat out here. We're not quite in shirt sleeves, but we're getting closer. Seawater temperature here is about 42 degrees. Seawater out in the ocean, well, who knows? We're not in the ocean. We're right here inside Rudy Inlet in this nice little ditch. There's all kinds of live, you know, just all kinds of stuff going on around here. We're gonna drift in there then, right? You know, the sun's still out, but now the tide change and so we're gonna have to re-anchor. Now Wayne Seymour spends a lot of time in this spot whenever he's off work at Boaters World. Now Seth likes to twitch his rod periodically because he said that most strikes occur while that lure sinks downward momentarily. Yesterday sitting back here was 50 degrees. What's the temperature today? We don't know. Wait a minute. Yeah. Nice fish. Okay. That's a real pretty drum. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at him sitting there. Yeah, he's sitting there beautiful. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that is beautiful. Look at that hook right in his mouth. Go ahead and uh, put your net on him. Absolutely super. Ooh. Nice fish. Beautiful. I'm leaning overboard. And <laughs> Tag him. Tag him. Look slowly now, slowly. Out of the shit. Okay. Beautiful tag. I can't believe this thing is hooked so well. Wayne, when I set the hook, I set the hook. Four spots on that tail. Slowly if you can, slowly. Beautiful!
Beautiful! And away he goes! Now Seth and I used white grub heads with about a two inch white plastic tail with pretty good success. But the master puppy drum tagger preferred a smoke colored plastic tail behind his white grub head. That is a beautiful fish. Look how easy that was to unhook too. Man, that's it, hold her right there now. What are we gonna do with him next? Let her go. Very good. Okay, let's tag him and release him. Back in Owls Creek next to the uh, Marine Science Museum. Very good. Now please tell us that exact method to insert a T-bar tag again, Wayne. That's too important. When, uh, when you tag these fish, you push the gun in, put the point right under a scale, and push it in. Then when you squeeze the trigger, you also got to keep pressure toward the fish because the when you, as the tag's going in, it's tending to push the gun out. You won't get a good tag set if you don't keep it pushed in. Absolutely beautiful. How much is that length of that one? Don't forget we got to measure them first before you release them. 15 and a quarter. Very good. Okay. Now walk over to the side slowly and let him go in the water. I know. Wow! He's just beautiful. And he's gone! Another pretty fish. This one here looks like to be about 17, 18 inches. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Alrighty. There we go. What's that, 500 just today, Wayne, or what? No, not hardly. Just getting started. Yep. Tell me again slowly what you're doing. I'm gonna be right on you this time. Right in this front dorsal fin, you take the, the uh, tagging gun, you slip it under the scale, and push in. And then squeeze the trigger. And as you're squeezing the trigger, you're also applying force toward the fish to keep the tag from popping the gun back. Then always tug it, make sure it's set good. Measure him and let him go. He just swallowed it. He had it. He got it. Well, once upon a time, we only saw these brown pelicans as far north as Hatteras, and then only in the summer. And now we see them year-round in Virginia Beach. Oh, it's pretty. Beautiful. Suck that one down. He might be an eater, huh? He just got a scar there where he got hit by something, like a shark or a, another fish or something. Yeah, there's little jays like that. Turn him the other side and let me look at the other side. Oh, is he ever beautiful. Oh man, that is fine. Tip him up a little bit so he's angled toward, that's it, you got it. Oh. He is pretty. Okay. 
Now once that school of puppy drum started to move down and out of this creek, those pelicans were right on top of the school. We could literally get a catch with every cast, but we had to pull the fish away from the pelican. He just settled down and no, he didn't dive. Here comes the other one. We got a school coming. Yes, we do. How deep do you think those things can go in? Got that one. Do it again, fella. I'm ready. Oh, he swallowed it. You see that? Right here. You know, fish watching's always been fun for me, but I'm beginning to enjoy bird watching too. Once the puppy trial moved on, so did the pelicans. They just followed that school right on out. Right here. Oh, well. Oh, oh that was <laughs> I had to pull it right out of his mouth. <laughs> That's going to be exciting. Did you get that on there? Yeah! I hope I did. Oh, that was great. That was great. I got it. <laughs> he came right in for the kill, didn't he? Boy, did he ever. He knew what that was. He didn't know what he didn't know what you were, but he sure knew what that was in the water. I yanked that thing right back out of his mouth. <laughs> did he hit it? Look on his side. Is that a piece of grass or did he hit it? There's a piece of grass. I don't oh, think okay. he hit it right when he was coming down. I jerked the fish. Oh, okay. Oh, slow down there, buddy. Just tell you had to do was move a few feet and man. It's a pretty one. Oh yes. Small but pretty. February. Right here inside of Rudy Inlet. Absolutely beautiful puppy drum. Look at these red things on They're they're uh, parasites. But they're not going to be hurtful to mankind at all. Measure, measure them up. Yes, sir. When the pelicans left, next we had the blue hair. The school moved, so we switched over to slow trolling so that we could locate another school. And soon Wayne was hooked up again. Feels like a nice one. Nice fish. Oh! Really fucking Now, once you tag and measure, write the results down before you catch the next fish. For these tagging statistics to be meaningful, first they got to be accurate. Now the American Littoral Society has tagged over 500,000 fish in their database, but it's no matter which program you're using, 
or you work with the VMRC program, which we show here, or the NOAA program, oh, he is fat. or the American Littoral Society, input is basic. But pretty soon we're going to have a dedicated program, which we just show you about tag and release. That one stuck that time. See, that was a keeper. 18, 18 inches. inches. Yeah. Slowly, 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 slowly. I think I know him. That's, gonna change. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you know, we're just sitting there. Look at that purple tail. Okay. Hold him down low. There he is, got him. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna quit. Two casts, two fish. 